Okay. Welcome, everyone. Hello. My name is Dr. Josie Schmidt. I'm a naturopathic physician, and I want to welcome you to our Visionary Leaders Collective. I am one of the founders, and it is my pleasure, pleasure to welcome you to our podcast. So today is the third Monday of the month, which you know what that means. It is our special Oils A to Z call with Ariana Harley and our doctor guests. So they will be going over and going into a deep dive this uh, call into Spanish sage. This is the oil of memory. Next week, we are going to be having a recap. We just had a very exciting uh, leadership retreat for doTERRA, and there are some in, uh, really exciting changes and updates. So we'll be doing a recap of that next week on Monday, this exact same time. If you would like to learn about all of our community offerings, please visit us at www.hellovisionary.life and follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Now, in addition, we'd be grateful if you take time to give us a five-star rating for this podcast, and you know it helps uh, more when folks find us and they can further share all of this wisdom with the world. So without further ado, I would love to introduce Ariana Harley and Dr. Louise Rose, naturopathic physician. They will be leading us today in this call on Spanish Sage, and a little bit later, we will have a recorded uh, little uh, bit from Dr. Mika Karu and Will Wan, and they will be coming in. They're not able to join us uh, today in person, but they have a recorded message for us. So Ariana, please take it away with this great call. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We love our community. Um, Spanish sage has, I mean, I have a lot of favorite oils, but it is definitely an oil that I resonate with and is one of my new favorites. This oil was released to us during convention, so I have some. Um, it will be available. It has not been available for purchase on doTERRA's site, and it will be available April 1st. So if you do have Spanish sage, um, I invite you to grab some and just take a breath with me. If you don't have any Spanish sage, rosemary would be a great alternative, um, but you're going to just drop one or two drops into the palms of your hands. You're going to rub your hands together and you're going to take a deep inhale through the nose. And then you're going to exhale. And we'll just do two more breaths, inhaling, exhaling, and one last breath. And if you are smelling the Spanish sage with us, see where it lands in your body. See what you notice. When I smell it, my lungs feel so happy. It just feels so clearing to my head, to my lungs. This is a beautiful oil for the morning time. If you're having a hard time waking up, um, it's known as the oil of memory. And so it is just, I was looking at research last night, really, really phenomenal for the brain. I struggle with a little bit of brain fog from time to time. So if you are like me, if you have brain fog moments, bring out your Spanish sage. It's also really energetically clearing, but we will talk all about that. As you can tell, I'm just so excited to talk to you about Spanish sage. But first we have some announcements. And so Aisha, if you want to go ahead and change the slide, we have, if you're joining us live, um, it is March of 2023. And starting tomorrow, Tuesday, let's see, what day is that? What day is it today? It's March 20th today. So starting Tuesday, March 21st, um, we are going to have BOGO week. And so please, please, please join us. This is a phenomenal opportunity to get a really great um deal on oils. There will be a BOGO box and then there will be pairings. 
and be sure to join our Facebook groups too, where we talk more about these oils. We have great giveaways for our team. Um, so just wanted to let you in on BOGOs, which is super exciting. And then we just, um, some of us leaders got back or got back or just watched virtually um, doTERRA's leadership retreat. And there's some great new announcements. So there is a wonderful Mother's Day Blooming Trio um, gift set available. This will also be available like Spanish Sage April 1st in the U.S. and Canada markets. And this is super exciting because there's three bottles of um, four milliliter oil, jasmine, neroli, and then gardenia. And gardenia, if you have not smelled it, is just absolutely phenomenal. So this would make a great Mother's Day gift or just a great self-love gift. Um, and so that will be avail available soon. And then I'm super excited about this. This is going to be available June 1st. It's doTERRA's Rose Duet. Duet. And it's a rose hydrosol mist. And I don't know if I'm saying this word right, but I know of it. It's Moringa. Moringa? If anyone knows how to say that, um, I'm, I don't feel like I'm pronouncing it right. But it's M-O-R-I-N-G-A, rose oil. And it is, rose, as we know, is so phenomenal for our skin. It is hydrating. It's going to be some really, really wonderful aromatherapy. And it's also pure and good for our bodies. So, so excited to um, try that out too. And then the last announcements, announcement of new products is also their doTERRA has released, is releasing a sun in their sun care line, a face product. That's a mineral face sunscreen just in time for the summer. Um, so be sure to pick that up. It is so relieving to use a sun care product that is free of toxic chemicals. So many of our, um, so many sun care products on the market are full of really yucky stuff that I wouldn't want to put into my body. So that's exciting. And then if you're looking at our slide, there is also, I just wanted to um, remind everyone that if you get on doTERRA's site and you want to hear about the fun new products and the discounts and BOGOs that come up, you can add your phone number and you'll be alerted um, with text alerts for any new products and information that might be interesting to you. So be sure to sign that, sign up for that if you would like to stay in the know. And then the last announcement, oh, it, I think this is the last one, um, is doTERRA also just released a new program about referring a friend. So if you love doTERRA products and you share and you say, you know, oh, to a friend like this would be really good. I know that you're having some muscle discomfort or I know that you would like some sleep support. You can get paid for that. You can earn doTERRA dollars and um, it's a phenomenal program. We're going to be talking more about this on our call next week on Monday. So please be sure to join us and learn more about this, um, this really great program. And it's, it's similar, like if, wouldn't you be so happy if you were, if you got a, um, if you got money back from referring people to a movie or to a restaurant, I do that all the time. So this is so great that you will get compensation for referring friends to product, to um, our products. Oh yeah. One more announcement. And then tonight, actually, March 20th, we have a um a meet a zoom meetup where we are going to talk about our preparation for our pink moon cleanse so springtime is a phenomenal time to cleanse we're going to be talking about not only cleansing the physical body but also i'm going to be doing a little part on poetry and and journal writing we're going to be talking about energetic and emotional clearing and how to basically do a reset to start off the spring season with some new energy for, um, inviting in creativity and inviting in new inspiration so if you want to join us it is um our webinar is at 5 p.m. Pacific time tonight. 
Um, and you can contact, look at our Facebook groups or take a screenshot of this slide or contact um, any of us on this call if you need any more information about that. And um, I kind of went over that last slide was just why cleanse, but we're going to keep moving. So I've talked a little bit about that. And then let's get dive into Spanish Sage. So Girl. Spanish Sage, as I mentioned, is available April 1st. And we can go ahead and move to the next slide, Aisha. And... I'm going to be talking about the emotional uses in a minute, but I'm going to hand the mic over to Louise, Dr. Louise Rose, and she's going to be talking about some of the physical uses that we might want to pick up Spanish for. And as I always say this, but when we're talking about the body and the physical, we know that there's really no separation between the emotions, the mind, the spirit, and the body, but this is a great way to just break up our call. So Louise, go ahead and take it away. Awesome. Thank you, Ariana. Um, if people could take a minute just to mute themselves, that would be awesome. There's a little background noise going on. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. So you can see here, and if you have smelled Spanish Sage, would you just take a minute to just type into the chat, um, where did you feel in your body? How did it how did the fragrance move the energy of your body? Fragrance energetics is one of the ways we study oils. And it refers to how does it move the blood, the lymph, the chi, the spirit, the emotions. And what I found with Spanish Sage is that it's lifting my energy. I found that it was opening and lifting like a, a pungent like rosemary, like Ariana said. Um, and we see that the chemistry of Spanish sage is it's high in camphor and 1-8-cineol, which um, are both um, really common in oils like eucalyptus and rosemary, which are also in that category of um, lifting, pungent, moving uh, fragrance energetics. So just knowing that it's going to lift and move your blood, move your energy, uh, we can tell right away that it's going to be great for the brain, right? And that would be uh, the main takeaway that I would want you to remember about Spanish Sage is that uh, anything brain related. Um, so there's actually some really exciting research about how it supports our memory pathways. It helps um, keep acetylcholinesterase in the body longer. So we have more uh, acetylcholine, which is really important for having strong memory. Um, it is reduces oxidative stress in the brain, and we know how much oxidative stress causes inflammation, which then causes damage that the brain has to repair. So it's helpful for protecting the brain. Um, I didn't realize until I started doing my research for this presentation that we can take Spanish sage internally. So I'm excited to try that uh, and see how that, you know, I like to just try it for, you know, a couple weeks, maybe a month is a good time to try something. Because if you just do it randomly every now and then, it's really hard to tell how something's working in your body. So if anybody wants to join me in a month of, uh, you know, two or three drops in a capsule every day, um, I'm excited about that. I am excited about creating a, um, a spray, a personal spray that has Spanish sage, lemon, and frankincense as an energetic clearing and brain support focus. Um, we know that a lot of traditional um, communities use sage as a spiritual um, cleansing aid, the smoke of sage, and we can now use the fragrance of sage. You can use it in your diffuser that way if you 
uh, or a practitioner, I would recommend having Spanish sage going in your diffuser, um, you know, maybe all the time. Maybe it goes, a drop goes in with your other oils just as sort of a little energetic support so that we can keep those energies moving and, and moving out the door if they need to. So with that signature of um, movement and, and getting stuff unstuck, that's how I think of how it's going to support our achy joints and muscles. So achy joints and muscles oftentimes have swelling, oftentimes have blood and inflammation and fluids that accumulate and we just need to get, we need to get them moving. Getting, getting the stagnation moved out of our joints. We were just talking earlier about how uh, Spanish sage and super mint, another one of our new blends that has four different types of mint, really high in menthol, great for head tension. Uh, anytime you need to increase your focus, um, use it topically on the back of your neck and it's going to increase the blood flow to your brain and really wake you up. What? Um, another way to support um, Louise, I'm going to mute everybody and then unmute yourself and then I'll reshare. Sorry about that. Okay. Great. Thanks, Aisha. Um, you can use a drop or two in your shampoo and it's going to be great for your scalp, but also feeding your brain, feeding your brain, feeding your brain. It's also really wonderful for our skin. Um, and I was really curious about um, reading about how useful it is for our hormonal balancing. And so one of my um, people, Bruce Burkowski, who I look to for research, uh, talked about it's really specific for the pituitary gland in our brain. So our pituitary is part of what's called the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So um, they're like the master regulators of all of our hormones. Our hormones are sort of like a, a symphony or an orchestra that they, they need to play together. They change throughout the day. We have these different rhythms and cycles and the pituitary is part of the the conductor of the orchestra and so spanish sage is going to support the pituitary which then gives us support downstream for all of our other major uh, hormonal systems so another um, interesting fact about spanish sage is early it's been used to help um, dry out um, people who have excess sweating or I know like um, if, if a woman is weaning, is breastfeeding and weaning their child and wants to dry up the milk supply, sage is useful for that. Um, so also good in menopausal heat flashes. So again, making a nice spray with a mint and Spanish sage to be used topically whenever you're feeling that heat or excess sweating or hormonally related um, hot flashes would be great. Um, let's see, That's that kind of sums up my notes exactly. Um, am I missing, am I forgetting anything? Feel free to jump in, help me out here. Yeah. Um, I just I was just going to say that when I was re uh, reading some studies done, um, we can talk about this, but there was a really phenomenal study done about students using Spanish sage to study and having improved results with uh, cognition and memory and um, also just Alzheimer's. So um, this is a wonderful oil if you want to just, as we age, I think it's pretty classic for people to be like, oh, I'm getting older and I'm forgetting, or if we're in a time and um, or our hormones might be affecting our memory. Um, it's a really great oil to bring in for support. So um, I just wanted to add that little plug 
um, in order to be compliant, it's hard to write all of the things that the oils are great for. But um, if you're ever interested, I just invite you to Google research or clinical studies done on our oils. And PubMed's a great site to look at. Um, it's really phenomenal, the science of what these plants are doing. So just wanted to add that little plug in. Thank you. I, I also just would, uh, there's a couple of safety things to know about Spanish sage. Um, it is known to stimulate um, uterine contractions. So really use it uh, with caution, you know, very small amounts, not internally if you're- pregnant. I show you, sorry to interrupt you. Will you forward the slide? Cause there's a safety slide. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And then also because of its high uh, 1,8 cineol content, um, it's just not recommended to use in a young child's face directory. Um, it would be fine to like diffuse in the room or something like that, but not put on the on the baby. Yeah, and I also read in one um, source that it was uh, recommended to avoid it with asthmatics. Um, I felt that I am slightly asthmatic and I'm using it for my lungs and it feels really great. So one thing I do know about our oils is the purity really matters, but just as a note um, that that was in some of the contraindications as well. Is that everything you got, Louise? That's me, yep. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the emotional uses of Spanish sage. So as I mentioned, think the brain. Um, it is a phenomenal brain oil. I also experience, I'm experiencing this right now. Um, and I experienced, I'm experiencing it now when I was reading about it. Spanish sage is going to be calming to the nervous system. I'm really experiencing, it asks us to be present in the moment. So what a great feeling, right? When we feel clear in our mind, when we feel calm and when we feel present, that is a great way to show up to life. Um, I do love using it as Louise was mentioning for energetic clearing. I had this idea of in our last call, we talked about cleaning doorways. I'm in a spring cleaning mood. So this would be a beautiful oil for spring cleaning. Um, you could make a spray or I'm going to probably just take a bucket with water and put rosemary, lemon, and Spanish sage and take a rag and wipe off all the dust from my doorways. And so that's not only going to physically clean the space, but it's also going to energetically clean and clear the space. So that's something that Spanish sage would be lovely for. Um, back to emotional uses, that was a little more of an energetic use. Um, Spanish sage is wonderful for, I put self-criticism negator. So if you are working with your mind and you have that part of your brain that often we have, it's oftentimes voices from um, maybe our parents or a teacher or someone when we're young who oftentimes is trying to help us but might be criticizing us too. Like I had the voice of you can always do better. You should do better. You should do better. So if there's a, a self-critical voice that is over, gets overwhelming to you um, and gets too heavy, bring in Spanish sage to help balance that out. Because if we get so critical on ourselves it often halts our, pro uh, our progress. We've really studied in neuroscience that we respond to positive reinforcement. And there's some great information on the Gallup um, studies on this as well. So if we have a negative voice going on in our head all the time, that is not super supportive to achieving our goals. It's also really wonderful in times of loss and change and in obstacles. So I feel that Spanish sage is just an amazing springtime oil for right now. We collectively as a planet have had some enormous obstacles that we've been going through for the past few years. And so Spanish sage is a great uplifting energetic force that can help move us through that. 
Um, and Spanish sage, it's really interesting the duality of these um, oils where they can be so multifaceted, where I wrote on the same slide, it's energizing and calming. And you might be going, Ariana, how can it be both? Those seem contradictory. But what's really great is, is that it when it calms our nervous system, we can approach the world with energy. Does that make sense, right? So it is calming the mind, just calming the whole nervous system and the fight or flight response, and then giving us energy to move through the world. And then we can, do you have anything to add, Louise, on the um, uh, emotional side of Spanish sage? Hmm, I love that idea of when we're calm, then we can move with intention and action. And it does feel like part of the message of Spanish sage is like clearing the cobwebs so that we can be a clear vessel to really walk our own path, mm -hmm. not, not somebody else's path, <laughs> not get distracted um, by thinking we're supposed to be doing this or supposed to be doing this. But when we clear the cobwebs, we can really listen deeply to what our our messages. It's beautifully said. I just had this idea of taking some Spanish sage and just after like zoning out on social media and and if you notice you're starting to feel like you're comparing yourself to everyone else and you're like oh, they're in Hawaii looking amazing and I'm at home in my sweats watching Netflix or whatever your voice in your head is saying. I'm not good enough um, just to kind of take some Spanish sage and put it on your head and your scalp. Um, that would be a lovely way to bring it in. Um, it is, mm, it's just such a gorgeous oil. So we can go ahead and move on to um, the spirit and energetic uses. And Dr. Mika Karu usually talks us, to us about spirit, and then Will Wan talks to us about the Chinese medicinal components, and they made a little video for us. So we're going to go ahead and play that for you. Might just take okay, a break. Okay, team. Give me just a second here to cue that up. So if you want to ask questions. Um, okay, it's also, just so you know, it's in two parts. So there's the first video and then there's the second video. So we'll play this, it will stop and then we'll go to the second one. Okay, and then give me a thumbs up that you can hear it and everything once I have it shared. Sounds perfect, thanks Aisha. And the word grace just came to me with Spanish sage. I feel like Spanish sage helps us walk with grace in the world. I wanted, before we start the video, I just wanna say that if you have, I had the other day, I didn't sleep well and I had, I don't know if you guys can relate, but I got really full of energy. I was feeling good. And I was like, my mind was going, I want to clean the house and I want to work on my business and I want to go outside and garden. And I want, and it was just like flooded with all of these things I wanted to do. And I started to get really overwhelmed. It was just like, my attention was like ping ponging all over the place. And Spanish sage would be a great oil in times like that. If we are feeling just like our energy is just flying all over the place, bring in Spanish sage and it will help you get centered and clear so that you can do one of those things at a time, not try to tackle 10 things at a time. That usually doesn't work very well. Okay. Okay. You ready? Hello there, Dr. Mika Karu. And we'll want. We are coming from, we're traveling, but we didn't want to miss out on talking to you about the beauty of Spanish sage. So beautiful, right, Will? It's amazing. So I'm going to start talking about the spiritual and energetic part. Uh, but first, Again, I'm sure Ariana and Louise already have done this, but take the bottle, one drop, put it on your index finger and put it on your tongue. Tip of your tongue would be the specific spot as, as well. Yeah, the tip of the tongue. Thanks. The tip of the tongue, well, in Chinese medicine, represents the heart. 
So we're soothing and opening the heart, creating emotions to be transformed that are stuck in the heart. So how beautiful. Thank you, Sage, Spanish Sage, for helping us to dissolve obstructions and emotional crystallizations that keep us from being uh, more intimate with ourselves and more connected with ourselves. And when we're more connected to ourselves, then we have the opportunity to be more connected to others in a more intimate, emotional, heart-to-heart -heart connection way. So isn't that, that's one of the beautiful gifts that Spanish sage, sage gives us. Um, I love that it's an easy way to get in touch with yourself and without uh, having not, not having to do so much work, you know, of processing. It's like it almost uh, unveils the crystallizations and the emotional hardness so that you can get right to um, a deeper love for yourself and connection with yourself. Um, here's what else I got. I'm a good space clearer. Place me in a diffuser to clear the space of heavy stagnant energy. We have some in our diffuser or in our hotel room right now. Um, yes, so if you don't travel with your diffuser, please do. It really saves a day when we travel. Or place me in a spray bottle with water, spray the house with it, or your, wherever you're staying at this time. I'm really good to help stop reoccurring thought patterns that are not healthy for my well being. You know, when you have like a thought that keeps coming round and round, it's like you're on a hamster wheel, round and round. Use Spanish sage to just like cut that pattern or cut that, that stop the hamster wheel of that thought coming up. Um, I'm a good herb to clear, oh yes, to clear um, your body before ceremony in our tradition. When we clear, uh, we prepare for ceremony, we always clear our body and we do it a special way. And I'll go through that. I know I've done this in, a couple times on A to Z calls, but um, so you place two drops or more on the palms of your hand if you want to do it. Breathe it in three times. Oh my gosh, you can just feel the concentration of clearing. It's so pungent and clear. So then, okay, here's how we clear for ceremony. You go come around your head. I clear my mind so I think well about myself and others. I clear my ears so I hear good things about myself and others. I clear my eyes so I see the good in myself and others. I clear my nose to appreciate Mother Earth's sweet, beautiful fragrances. I clear my mouth. That's why I speak well about myself and others. I clear my heart to have a deeper connection with myself and my heart, my true nature. I clear my hands to remind myself to use them in gentle ways. I clear my body. So you bring it down over your body. I clear my body to honor it, honor my body and all that it does. I clear my feet and you can put it on the bottom of your feet. That's what we're doing. To remind ourselves to walk gently on Mother Earth. So that's a really good way of using Spanish sage to prepare for a ceremony. And that could be, 
any um, like celebration or preparing for a test or preparing for a big interview. Those are all ceremonies to start the day. Um, okay. Um, yes, I am an effective chakra clearer, especially for the third chakra, which can hold fear. I'm, um, yes, and I am effective at, at clearing fear from the body. So the third chakra, one, two, three, is the solar plexus. It's where your ribs meet. And oftentimes when uh, a fear is held in the third chakra, it could be held anywhere, but oftentimes it's held in the third chakra. So that's one, two, three. So... You can place, if you're having fear, you can place um, a drop or two of Spanish sage right in your solar plexus, where that's where the ribs meet. Super great to help. You know, when you're fearful or something's happening, you feel like a gut punch, that's your solar plexus. So that's or a good remembering to carry Spanish sage with you. And then lastly, and then I'll hand it on over to Will. I'm really effective at clearing and dissolving. Okay, moving to part two. Give me just one second to get that set up. Thank you for your patience. Okay, and the last part is I'm really effective at clearing, dissolving crystallized patterns in the fields. Okay, so clearing, you know, here's an easy way to do it. You take the Spanish sage if you're watching, if you're not, it's okay. You put a couple drops on the palms of your hand and just bring it over your body. Palms on top of palms and just waft them over your body and that will clear your fields. I can really feel it. You probably can feel it because you're right next to me. And then the last thing is when you have the thought of, oh my gosh, I thought it was finished with that pattern or that experience and it keeps on coming back. Have you ever had that experience where it's like, what? I thought I worked through that. That's a perfect opportunity to use Spanish stage. It's a way of dissolving the remnants of a really old crystallized pattern. Okay, back over to you, Will. Thanks, Mika. So in Chinese medicine, uh, sage has been used for thousands of years. Uh, Spanish sage, obviously, more from uh, Spain. But in, in China, we use more of a, a variety or a different species of sage. Uh, and the name of it is dan shen. Dan usually refers to red like um or cinnabar like dan tian uh shen is like root so other sort of herbs that have shen in the name is ren shen which is ginseng and it's really uh similar um to how we think about utilizing chinese herbs so when there's that that word or character shen it is meaning it has a, a ability to root your body into the earth. Uh, and the dan part is really a component of red. So we look at how that affects uh, the body uh, and what are the properties. So in terms of the flavors, it's uh, bitter. It has this really kind of pungency about it. So ability to really move the chi, uh, move the blood. Uh, so it affects the heart, the pericardium, uh, liver, and for Spanish sage, it, uh, I feel also affects the lungs because of that sort of more quality of pungency. Uh, but ultimately, the historical use uh, and even contemporary use 
uh, that I've used uh, Danshen is really more with any kind of blood uh, heart stagnation, uh, almost like this um, uh, heart uh, issue, heart palpitations, uh, irregularity, so to speak, in the um, quality of the, the heartbeat and to sort of bring it back to a place of balance. Uh, I've used it specifically in different formulations for really moving blood uh, to return it back to uh, homeostasis balance because of the sort of stagnation of blood. And so ultimately in Chinese medicine, we have to always look at what's the cause. Uh, but in the use of Danshan, it is a really kind of a stronger type of a blood mover. And it is a not like strong like Honghua uh, Carthamus, which is really, really like a blood cracker. And I've talked about blood stagnation where uh, it's just a, a blockage uh, or coagulation of phlegm that can cause to uh, more specifically what we use uh, Danshen or, or sage, uh, Chinese sage is any type of uh, heat stagnating the blood that can be in modern times regarded as higher amounts of inflammation, oh. higher um, types of situations where the blood would kind of coagulate more. And so we utilize uh, Dungeon to help move that blood uh, stagnation. Uh, so we utilize it to clear heat, to calm the spirit, calm the shen, uh, root the body. So it's not all, um, again, when there's no rootedness in the body, the body tends to waver up in this kind of uh, deficient yin type of state. And that causes different states of anxiety to um, just all around unpleasant uh, discomfort. So, um, Again, the whole purpose of Danshen, in my belief, is to really calm the body and really nourish the blood so it can stabilize that yin in order for the uh, body to have that rootedness. So it sounds like it would be really good for anxiety. Yes, any type of, um, again, liver chi stagnation, we call mm -hmm. that in Chinese medicine where there's different emotions. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, worry per se, but irritability, yeah. um, anger mm -hmm. to things that are really kind of stuck, feeling like you're stuck mm -hmm. and that kind of con constraint mm -hmm. pattern where there's mm -hmm. that cheese stagnation. Or, yeah, or like I was talking about the, like not the, the, um, energetic stagnation in the heart energetically, which keeps you from having a deeper connection with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And also, and then sleep. I'm going to try it tonight for sleep. Put it on the bottom of my feet. Yeah. You would think it would be invigorating, but it's very calming. Yeah, it has a, a, almost a duality of sorts uh, where it covers the basis of removing that stagnation but at the same time consolidating it because mm -hmm. of kind of again that quality of the, the sage is really kind of more rooting into mm -hmm. the earth i love it thank you spanish sage yes thank you okay see you all next time bye 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 How did you guys like all, all of that? That was such a beautiful clearing. And if you use Spanish Sage, just type in the chat how you feel. Do you feel different? I definitely feel different from just starting the call until now. Yeah, Josie, that she, um, if you're listening to the podcast, Josie just showed with her hands, just this feel like rooting, settling into the earth really nice just presence of energy so just to close we are I'm just going to share some ideas for diffusing and working with Spanish sage um, I created a work smarter <clears throat> not harder diffuser blend which is three drops of Spanish sage 
three drops of rosemary and five drops of pettigrain. It's gorgeous and just yummy for the brain. There is also um, some great ideas, three, three drops of Spanish sage, three drops of black spruce and two drops of spearmint. We were talking about using super mint and Spanish sage together, really great for any kind of head tension, muscle tension. I'm working with a grumpy shoulder and some tightness in my neck and discomfort in my head lately. So I was layering on the Superman and the Spanish Sage. It felt really good. And this is a great option too that um, sometimes, you know, peppermint feels a little too cold and cooling and intense. Um, that spearmint or supermint and Spanish Sage isn't quite as cooling. So that's a great alternative. You can blend Spanish Sage with lavender and cypress. Spanish sage also in some resources that I was reading were, it's also known as lavender sage, um, which I thought was interesting. Um, Spanish sage, sandalwood, lemon, and tea tree. That would be yummy. Um, I love the Spanish sage and sandalwood combination. And Spanish sage, rosemary, bergamot, and vetiver. I haven't tried that one. But that one sparks my interest. That sounds like a really nice combination. If you have any ways that you've used it that you love, please put it in the chat or um, go ahead and tell us about that. I would love to hear. And then we could go ahead and move to the next slide. Um, and then just closing, I wanted to invite everyone to our call for April. We will be talking about ginger. And ginger, if you're listening live, is 10% um, off in the, in the month of March, 2023. So if you don't have ginger and you'd like to use it and work with it and have it to smell on our next call, go ahead and, and order some ginger. Ginger is known as the oil of empowerment. So I think this is going to be a perfect oil for our spring. We are in equinox right now. Spring is just starting here. And the combination of the Spanish sage, like clearing and moving. And then I love bringing in a ginger, like maybe on the belly for empowering and rooting down and grounding. I think that would be a really great combination too. And I love this quote. Um, I wanted to share it with you. It's by Debbie Ford. I think that any time of great pain is a time of transportation, a fertile time to plant new seeds. And I included that because many people I know, myself included in our community and globally, um, has, have we been going through a time of pain and hardship and coming out of the pandemic and still being in the pandemic and so many things. And I love relating to that struggle, that pain. And I know it to be true in my own life. I know many of you can relate. It can be transformative and teach us so much if we allow it to. And it can create a fertility and some new life. So I invite you to bring your Spanish sage into that energy. I know that for this spring, I'm really excited to just kind of, it's just like shake off the old and create something new. Um, and we can go ahead and switch and change the slide. Um, and I would just like to say that if you would like to get in touch with any of us, Dr. Louise Rose practices here in Portland, Oregon. And you can take a screenshot. Her information is here. She you can find her on Instagram under Rose Cabinet, um, on Facebook under Rose Cabinet Medicine. And she has a website rosecabinetmedicine.com. And Mika Carew is located in Colorado. And I don't know what happened. We have these like green lines on our slide. I don't know where they came from. Maybe that's like the spring growth just popping into our presentation. It's like, yes, spring is here. We're starting. Um, 
a little art happen somehow. Um, Mika is a naturopath physician, acupuncturist, and teaches us so much as you learn today and from her native wisdom traditions and the teachings her family have taught her and her grandmother. So I just want to take a minute to thank her and her ancestors for all she brings to this call. And you can contact her. Um, her website is livinggracemeditation.com. And she has a beautiful book there called Plant Spirit Medicine. It's also available on Amazon by Dr. Mika Karu. And she talks, if you liked the clearing of the energy that she walked us through, pick up her book because she talks about that and, and guides us through how to do that. And Will Juan is also in Colorado. He's Mika's partner. And you can um, reach him at eliteacupuncture at gmail.com. And I love the Chinese medicine aspect. Type in the chat if you enjoy that. I love learning the Chinese words. And then the, this old wisdom of people working for these plants, one of the oldest medicinal practices on earth. Um, traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine and all of the knowledge that we can learn from that is so fascinating and I really loved when we were working with the plants if you noticed you get the same messages sometimes with different words sometimes with different languages but the same energy and messages come through Ariana, can you quickly go back and uh, Cass was asking for Dr. Louise's slide one more time. Sure thing. She wants her um, something, but there's Louise. Yes. There's she also, Louise. She just type, typed her uh, website into the chat. Perfect. And that gorgeous okay. picture of her, if, if you're not, don't have eyes on our presentation, it's Louise with this huge bouquet of peonies and a cowboy hat. And it was the greatest day her and I went to the peony garden and I love that photo. It's just so pretty, perfect springtime photo. And my name is Ariana Harley. I do emotional coaching and I love our plant medicine and our community. So glad that you've all enjoyed, or yeah, excuse me, you have all um, joined us. I enjoy your comments and your wisdom. If you'd like to reach me, um, you can look at my website. It's arianaharley.com. I'm also on Instagram under Ariana Harley Essential Alchemy and Facebook under Ariana Harley Essential Alchemy. So thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next month, the month of April for Ginger. And please join us um, next Monday, because we are going to do an amazing leadership recap. There is so much great, juicy info that we just kind of touched on. I couldn't resist le um, not putting in slides to tell you about some of the new stuff coming, but we're going to expand on that. We'll be able to answer any questions. So we are looking forward to seeing you all next week. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.